Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is episode five of season four of Realm NFT, where we're going to go ahead and just show my progress. Uh, we've been in this for a little over two weeks now, uh, and then also give some tips and tricks on how to increase your production for a relatively cheap fee. Um, and it's, I'm talking, uh, it's an, it's something that I, I didn't think about until I guess a few days ago. Then I realized that they're out there. So that we'll save that one to the end. Um, but let's go ahead through the progress. The big thing that's happened since last episode was that I did unlock South America. I actually unlocked that about 24 hours after last video. And I focused on building it up with a few factories to increase my production. Uh, and then I added the normal things, the the transportation. I added another research lab. As I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to get another research lab in there just to continue to pump out the research. Uh, and then added a storage because I need to increase my storage. I, I think I'm in a good spot right now. Um, I'm not sure how much higher. I'm going to raise it and I'll focus on other things. But I got it to the point where actually I may, I may raise it up to 24, a little over 24,000 because there are some buildings that need to get there. I'm undecided on that right now, but I'm focusing on research and a few of the other uh, production style um, buildings and transportations and things like that. For the technology lab, I have everything boosted up to level 12. I did try to boost something up to level 15. I spent about 2,500 titanium on it and barely got it back to level 12. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to push for the level 15. It just, it, it was kind of painful because, uh, yeah, it just, because just to show you this, um, it's 35% just to raise it from 13 to, I'm sorry, 12 to 13, just to get a little bit of a bonus. I may try and do that depending on titanium because I, I don't really have another use for titanium at the moment, but I'm definitely going to push to get this unlocked so I can get the higher salary uh, and get that up to level 12. I think that'll give me a nice little boost because right now I'm getting a little under 34 RLM per hour. Uh, my resources is 182 per minute and obviously got someone training. Uh, my ranking right now is is doing well. I, I continue to increase that. I'm at 45 right now. Again, my goal at the end of the season is to be in the top 50. And just a reminder why, because I'd like to get that four-star general in there it'd be great if i can get the top 10 but i don't think i have a shot in and at all in the top 10. um so top 50s i think would be great to get that four star general uh it'd be nice to add another four star general to my my leaders um all right a few more updates that i have in here my strategy right now has shifted a little bit because i was pushing really really hard to get to level 15 so i could open south america um, i am currently at level 16. I've slowed it down a little bit, and the reason I've slowed the missions down just a little bit is because I'm pushing to get some, some buildings upgraded. So my strategy right now is to get everything going as far as the upgrade process goes in each of the regions, because normally they take between 12 and 20 hours uh, for a building to upgrade. Once I have everything to the point where it is processing, it's upgrading, going through that whole process itself, then I run some missions. I will occasionally run, uh, most of my missions I run right now is in North America. Uh, it's, I, I struggle sometimes in those, just getting the, the levels because they're higher levels than what I have the resources for. Uh, but that's what I do. I go to each region. Um, if it has a research building in it, I want to do research, a building upgrade, and a transportation upgrade. If it doesn't have that, I want to do a building upgrade if possible and a transportation upgrade. It's gonna to get to the point here in the next few days where I'm not gonna be able to do any more of the building upgrades uh, because they'll, they'll be the limit will be higher than what I can do in my resource uh, storage right now. Um, that's the goal. And once I get to that point, then I'll go ahead and push missions again, full steam. But once I have them all running, uh, which I'm just about, I need to get two more up and running today, which will last most of the day, then I'll go ahead through the process of, of pushing out some missions. That way I can continue to try and stay ahead of the curve. Um, I'm going to try this for a few days. I'll let you know uh, in the next episode, which will be early to mid next week, uh, how that went. It's going to be a while, a, probably a solid week till I get over to Europe. Um, that's my final goal. I, there's no way I'm going to get to Oceania. 
Um, my goal for by the end of season four is to be in Europe. Um, I would love to get uh, to the point where I get to level 23, I think is my goal. Yeah, level 23, because I want to grab another one of the helpers. Uh, even though I have all the helpers, I, I, it'd be great if I got the cyborg one, the one that I am missing that, it, that uses titanium. Uh, but it'd be nice to go ahead and grab one of the helpers. That's my that's my end goal for the this entire season. Level 23, top 50 ranking. Uh, I would be happy with that. All right. As far as the tips that I was talking about, this is something I didn't realize until today. Um, not today, this week. Um, there are a number of NFTs out there that give you in-game bonuses. We all, anyone that's playing the season just on the 12th, two days ago, got handed the season four promo NFT, which gives you a 1% boost on your RLM. But I'm not sure if you all understand that if you get season, the, the badge for season one, two, three, and four, it stacks up and gives you a total of 4% boost on that. So when I went to uh, Atomic Cub and I went to grab the season one and two since I didn't have those, I also noticed that there are a few other badges out there. If you go out there, you'll see uh, there is one here that is the, the launch promo that is only 0.36 wax. This gives you a 5% bonus on your resources. Again, this is not financial advice, so please don't take it as you need to go out and buy this. This is just something that I found that helped me personally. So check your situation. If, if that's too much to spend, that's fine. Um, you do not need it, but it is a nice little bonus. So this one gives you a 5% bonus out there. So you can just go ahead and search it. It's under, I believe it's under promos. Um, and I, as I mentioned, I have the seasons, the season one promo, the season two, we just got the season four. I have the season three from last season, so that's down further. But there's another bonus that's out there. It's a little more expensive. It is the Realm logo bonus. It costs about 25 wax. Um, so that's up to you whether you want to spend that or not. But it gives you a 10% resource bonus. And it stacks on top of this one. So, so with these two NFTs, it gives you a 15% resource bonus right away. It stays the entire time. It's, it's not time limited. So with those, if I you go ahead and click on those promo bonuses... I have a 4% salary bonus, I have the 5% the resource bonus, and a 10% resource bonus. So I get a total of 15% resource, which adds up. Um, again, you can get all this for maybe 30, 40 wax. Again, not financial advice. Check out your own situation. But it gives you a significant bonus. This will actually be also be a really good bonus the start of season five when you're kicking off when you're struggling to get those resources. You don't have the research behind it. Uh, and you don't have a lot of the bonuses, this will automatically be there. So it's nice. It's something that will stay with you throughout the seasons, and it gives you a, a, a pretty decent bonus to check out. So that's my tip for this episode is check out the NFTs if, if you can get them. Um, like I said, the, the easiest and the cheapest one to get right now is this one. It's uh, looks like, oh, sorry, this one right here, the, the launch promo, 0.36 for an easy 5% resource bonus. It's not a huge bonus, but at least something. Um, and also take a look at the other seasons, like this one for a one percent. You get it's less than a whack, one wax. So check those out. Um, just nice little bonuses that are out there uh, that 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 help you out um, and increase your your production. I hope you all enjoy these. Go ahead in the comments down below. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, where are you at? What's your ranking? Where are you at uh, as far as region goes? What's your strategy? What are you working on right now? What's your focus? Um, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.